the jump ball that they do at Staples. Or, excuse oh, yeah. me, ah, Crypto.com Arena. How dare you? Ah. It's Brypto.bomb arena. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I ain't going to do a gang sign. <laughs> I was about to. I'm like, uh. you know, it's so funny. Like, shout out Scorpio Sky. Uh, he was telling me how much, like, when I to when I tweeted that, you know, you know about the name change. Like, well, it won't matter to, you know, the Bloods because it'll be always be Brypto.bomb arena. And he, <laughs> we just text each other Brypto.bomb. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, it, it just, it's, it'd be, it is, it is funny. But. I, it's still, uh, I don't know. Are you used to? Are you used to it now yet, or like, are you? It is what it is. I look. Um, the one thing because I work across the street. Yeah. Um, at LA Live, and from my office, I saw that they were going cashless in the entire arena. You know, a lot of places are like that already. Well, when I went to Staples last year or the, earlier this year, yeah, they were cashless. Everything's cashless now, which. And I was like, communist. No, I'm joking. <laughs> okay, no, it was, uh, Gift cards. <laughs> I was like, pretty soon I could see crypto.com being the only arena to allow crypto for like merchandise. You know that's next. You know, I still don't understand it. I, I need you to explain it to me. I don't even understand. What? I thought you did. I, I get it, but I'm not invested in it. So it's like, I don't know. Like, need, I know you got to like break some eggs to make an omelet and stuff like that. We I need just, Tim Dillon on the line. That's what we need. We do need that. <laughs> I, I'm more in stocks, but at the same time, I lost money because of the last two months. Uh -huh. I don't know what the hell happened, but like DraftKings has dropped like in half. Is and it because of COVID though? I don't think it's because of COVID. Like DraftKings, I forget what it was. And then like, I've still read reports that are saying like, no, but it's a good buy long term. I'm just like, <laughs> like, so like, I'm literally like losing money. <laughs> so they got you. Yeah. But the reason why I lost my money in the stocks is because... I used all of it from the stimulus checks. Oh, okay. So I, it's not a, really my money. House money. It's not house money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're fine. So, but you know, you could have bought yourself a you know nice inflatable doll. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> <laughs> oh, buddy. Mike, Mike was just doing a shit to you. Up. <laughs> you mean a flashlight? Our sponsor for tonight. There you go. You know, I almost said that earlier when he said flash. Oh, it light. <laughs> But I was like, I don't know. I'm always nervous. Like, can I say that? <laughs> no, yeah, flashlight. Okay. Flesh. Not like that, though. Hey, don't say it like that, though. <laughs> this is a family show. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I'm not used to Crypto.com Arena yet, though. I, it, it, uh, it sounds better to me now, but at the same time, I'm like, eh, I still call it stupid. I didn't even like, okay, I know, like, everything looks cheap. I know they're like, oh, it, the signs take some time before you boo, boo, boo. But I'm just, like, looking at it, I'm like, I don't even like the lion, like the logo for the, the 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 whole brand. It looks like an old Mexican arena, like from TJ. It does. <laughs> or I was it about to say, does. Like, uh, you know how like old '80s boxing, like yeah. would always have like a, a lion yeah. to represent the logo and stuff. Yeah. That it just sound, it looks like they grabbed an old logo from like boxing back in the day. You it know, looks like the logo from Stratford Oakmont from The Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, that's what see? they got the idea from. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I feel like it's tacky to end anything in dot com. Like comedians when they have their merch, you know, you know, hey, Blech. you know, ZachElk.com. dot com, and Blech. like the shirt, like there's a little, you know, I don't put Gonzo dot com because all you gotta do is just Google my name, you know, it'll, it'll come up. But like I feel like anything named dot com is just very tacky. So when my, the first thing I thought was like when I, oh yeah we're changing Staples Center to Crypto dot com Arena, it's like really like that's I that's why I was like. And just call it like the crypto arena. Also, if you're a comedian that has your name dot com on the shirt Come and you're wearing it at an open mic, I instantly <laughs> lose any respect that well, I was going to have. For what's you. worse though, the dot com or the hashtag? Oh man. I can I, understand I, hashtag. But it's not like you can press the shirt and then like, oh, it's gonna take me to the hashtag where all the other shirts I have hashtags. That's true. But okay, like I can respect hashtag because that's relevant to today. Whereas like dot com is just like, oh, what are you a boomer? Jeez, like, it's <laughs> well, kind of like a generation before. That's what I kind of feel like. So it's like you know, like you can't like you can't sound cool saying yeah, I'm going to the crypto dot com arena. It's like, ugh. like I had a hard time seeing the Honda Center. Like oh, the Honda Center. But oh, you would still call it the pond. The pond. It's always gonna be the Arrowhead Pond. Is Whatever. it worse that worse than the Smoothie King Arena? See, that is interesting to me because. Everyone tells me, have you ever tried Smoothie King? I'm like, no. I was like, oh, you're going to love it. Like, it was really? here for a hot sack. Was it here? It was here in California. It was like right next to my middle school, Royal Oak. Whoa, a long yeah, time yeah. ago then. Long time ago. I didn't even know that. Because I know they're out in the south, right? Or in the east coast? They're mostly in the south. Yeah. I would... No, okay, wait. Uh, the Kings. No, there's the, the, isn't the cow something or whatever? What's the Kings? Uh... Oh, no, it's uh, Golden something. Oh, they're the sleep. 
Yeah, Golden One. Or That's what like it was. That. Before that, though, wasn't there old arena? I thought there was something some... Sleep. Okay, maybe not. Sleep Train Arena. Yeah, and Which then before even... that was Arco. It was the Arco Arena. Arco Arena. It's so it's so funny to me the way how like they they buy these the the, the naming rights and you can name anything. We should raise money. We should call. We could. We should buy naming uh, uh naming rights for a stadium. The Fear LA Arena. Hey, what do you call it? The Fear LA Arena. Want to call it Fear LA Center? Or... Yeah. Oh, we could call it the Fear LA <laughs> Stadium. It sounds like a like a, I don't know. It sounds like a like a, a like a like a housing for like people with anxiety. A Fear LA Center. <laughs> like oh. This is for everybody that's you know so fearful in LA, which there's a lot of people. There is a ton of them. <laughs> they need a lot of help, and I will not make a joke about that. And, just kidding, just kidding. and sixty percent of them are lo- are comedians from Los Angeles. Yeah. Oh, true that, true that. <laughs> um, so as we were talking about in the first segment, oh, yeah. Lakers lost on Christmas Day. Heartbreaking. At crypto at the Brypto dot com. There you go. Brypto bop bomb. Brypto uh, Brypto dot bomb. bomb. It's gonna still take some bomb. adjustment. Brypto dot um, bomb. Barina? <laughs> Bar- Bar- <laughs> no. You don't have to because it's an A. Yeah. It was a C, though. Uh, I was about to say a blood chant, but never mind. No, no don't do that. Don't <laughs> no, do that. Don't, don't get us killed. I'm good. Please. Please. Um, but anyways. I like both sides. <laughs> yeah, I'm like Snoop Dogg or Takashi. I don't know. Um, anyways. <laughs> Russell Westbrook had a very poor performance despite him having a triple-double. <laughs> um, it yep. was – he actually had a missed dunk in the last part of the game, which – could have tied the game or it could have cut it to like a one point deficit. Yeah. And that was after watching that, I was like, I'm done. I've seen enough. I don't want Russell Westbrook as a Laker anymore. I do you think you've just lost patience with him? That's what I'm saying. Like the, the last couple of episodes, like I've been saying, like, you know, like do you like do you feel like like it's time to pull the panic you know, press the panic button, you know, let's just get you know, blow it up, get rid of it, figure something out. And I still feel that way. Especially after this like last performance, they've had they're a couple months in now. Yes, I know some people are out. You know, some people are, are injured, sick, whatnot. This is like the nineteenth rotation they've had tonight. You know, and since the beginning of the season, which is crazy. But at the same time, it's like no one's pulling their weight. I know someone that works at Staples Center. You know, I'm the, the, a good friend of mine, and sees it backstage, and he tells me. He told me he goes, "It's egos, man." He goes, "They're, they're all, all of them." And I was thinking like, "Oh, maybe it's just like role players not you know pulling their weight." Or some bench players, because that's what I thought at least when I was watching. He goes, "No, dude, it's all of them." He goes, "It's it's Russ. It goes, it's Melo. It's LeBron." He goes, "But especially Westbrook." I go, "Really?" So going back to the beginning of the season where we had our, our tarot card reader, it, it, unfortunately, she's correct. I'm glad you brought that up because as you were talking about that, I'm like, I was also getting callbacks from that. Yeah, uh, she was wrong about Kyrie, by the way. Kyrie has not played a single game so far. Well, you were supposed to, but then he had to go to protocols, which is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, so he is yet to be determined. Uh, we, I did a poll on Twitter from the Fear LA account, uh-huh. and I asked out of 225 votes, oh. uh, who would you trade for Westbrook? Mm. Or who you trade Russell Westbrook for? Um, 36% of the 225 votes said Ben Simmons. 11% said John Wall. 19% said Kyrie Irving. And 34% said a roll of toilet paper. So that, was... <laughs> that was me. Uh, I, uh, I'm i in a, in a Laker chat, and that was brought up as far as, like, John Wall, because they're not really playing him, right? John Wall apparently is, like, back to warming up. I've seen the videos of mm. him, like, with the team warming up. But I don't. I think they're in the predicament where they don't want to get him hurt, but he's ready to be traded. Yeah, because I mean, I know they're going younger. They're, like they're trying to they're rebuild. rebuild. They're yeah. rebuilding. Like yep. it's that's why it's like if we lose tonight against the Houston Rockets to a trash young team, like now it's really time to blow it up. I almost want to like just like look at the score just to kind of see where it's at. Obviously, I'm not gonna say it. Ah, all right. Um, but, <laughs> but I would have been so angry. I would be like, no, nah! <laughs> live on the air. Press the panic button. Yeah. Um, I think. Ben Simmons, okay. I, I, I want to say, I think we need Ben Simmons, which is weird to say. I would never, if you would have said Zach in the offseason, if you would come up to me in the offseason and be like, Zach, hey, like, how about Ben Simmons is your third star? I'll be like, F you, go, like, jump jump away. I don't know. Like, I don't want to yeah. say, Jay, you know what I was trying to go with. But uh, I'm not Chrissy Teigen, so I'm not going to say yeah. that. But, uh, so I would have just totally, like, laughed it off. But if you come up to me now with, I would take any type of defender. 
That's what we need. Any type of defender, anyone that's all NBA defense, like Ben Simmons. It's crazy because it's like obviously you know I mean what what are we gonna lose shooting oh we already don't even have any like it's uh, we're gonna get up like we're gonna we're gonna be like uh, it's gonna be an addition it's not gonna be a subtraction it's not so that's crazy to even say that like yeah, yeah trade Re- okay, we're, you heard it here folks trade Russell Westbrook for Ben Simmons I mean um, Russell Westbrook was four for twenty on Christmas Day and four twenty we- hey. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> Blaze it. And, I mean, do he? We need a playmaker. So Russell Westbrook for four for twenty with ten assists versus Ben Simmons, who's going to shoot four for seven, four for eight because he only takes eight shots, or six for nine uh, and ten assists. He's, he's going to shoot what? Like he's going to shoot around the rim. Yeah. He's going to be a field goal percentage. So efficiently. He's already going to be significantly better than Russell Westbrook. Yeah, it's it's like I said, it's going to be uh, an addition by subtraction because it's like you're not losing anything. You're we don't have anything. Like the that's it. Like, but I know they're going to want another piece. So who would you trade? Jalen Horton to... Tucker. Yeah, or, there you go. <laughs> really, you wouldn't trade LeBron James and, Get out. and uh <laughs> no. and Westbrook for Ben Simmons? No, Jalen Horton Tucker. I'm just Jalen. You're Horton done. Huh? You're done with him. I am done. I feel like I I don't know. Like I I feel like maybe give him another month. <laughs> You got Austin Reeves as the baby. <laughs> you know you're right about that. Now, would you? So would you keep? If you had to do it all over again, would you keep Austin Reeves or uh, uh, Caruso? Uh, but why not both? We could have, which we could have. We could have had. I don't want to. I realize <laughs> since the off season began, yeah, and since Russell Westbrook has been a Laker, I have repeated every single week. Do you want to know? I'm pretty sure you could guess it. Do you want to know what I've said every single week of this tell, podcast? Tell me. We should have got Demar. Oh, I know. We talked about that too. <laughs> We've said this every single week, and I've said it. And do you realize how pissed I am that he is flourishing? Yeah, in he's Chicago killing. Right he's killing. Dude, the Bulls are. Everyone's dropping like twenty five, thirty. Yeah. I'm like what? They're twenty one and ten right now. Uh, Lonzo is coexisting with Zach Levine and Demar Derozan, and Caruso's freaking now recognized on the national level. And Lonzo would have. I felt like he would have been a better piece with this team right now. Like if we could trade Russ for Lonzo, I'm all about it. Yeah. Obviously, I'm wearing the shirt, but I still got faith. Uh, but I, it, it, I just do you think it's they're just fumbling. Do you think these are because no one's perfect? I knew Palenka was going to, you know, lay some eggs. I feel like obviously this season was an egg. So or it is an egg. So do you feel like now we're kind of see like he's he's human. He's not he's making mistakes or because I kind of felt like the Lakers just went after the name, not necessarily the fit. That's what it was. They went after the name. Um, if they really would have gone with the fit, they would have gone with Buddy Heald. Um, I didn't want really to give up players for – I don't think Buddy Heald is what a lot of um, NBA fans think he is. I, I think when – But he's not playing as good this year though, right? No, no, no. He's not. Yeah. I don't – can we check his stats just yeah, to make sure? Because um, I, I want to say like I think Kuzma was even doing better than Buddy Heald right now. For the moment. Um, Kuzma, again, I think is back on par with where he's at. Yeah. So at least at that level now. I know like I was worried that – you know how D'Angelo Russell left, and then he ended up shortly after becoming an all-star? Yeah. I thought that was, like, the same trajectory as Kuzma. Like, I, I feel like the problem with the Lakers is that they feel like they need superstars, but I think, in reality, the Lakers make superstars. 16 points per game, four rebounds, two assists, uh, shooting 40%. Oh, no, he's doing better. Who was that again? Buddy. I already forgot who I asked. Buddy, Buddy Heald. Buddy Heald. Buddy Someone's Heald. drunk. <laughs> again. <laughs> It was that egg dog, am I right? Um, <laughs> oh, leftover from all the Christmas parties. <laughs> yeah, so, okay, Buddy Hield, Um Yeah, that's 16 points on the Sacramento Kings, dude. So, and technically, he's like, what, the best player on their team? Aside from... Uh, One of the best players? Aside from, was uh, it Tristan Thompson? <laughs> Tristan Thompson, yay! Like, good job. Jaron Fox. Oh, my God, yeah, you just outshined him. Um, so, I mean, with with him, Buddy, and then also, like, the, the Kyle, the, the Laurie... Because we, we were trying to go for that Laurie uh, DeRozan combination, too. Yeah. How is uh, Laurie doing? He's doing well in Miami. I believe so. Uh, he, if I'm not mistaken, missed a couple games. So in an alternate universe, the Lakers would probably be winning right now if we went that direction, which is crazy. Kyle Laurie, 14 points, four and a half rebounds, and a whopping eight assists. So yeah. If oh, you man, just this hurts. <laughs> This hurts so much. And do you want to know something? You have certain people, certain ESPN faces. A oh, god. Certain people from the Lakers organization that are on the air saying that, oh, it wouldn't have been possible to get DeMar and Kyle. Go F off. Okay, dude? Like, it would have been totally possible. DeMar even says it. 
But like, I mean, they would have, they would have to deal with the Spurs, right? No, no, no. Okay, so that was for the sign and trade. Okay. But Demar was willing to sign straight up. Oh, he was. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's that's Lakers fumbling. And look, I, I think dude, that's it. Popovich loved Kuzma when they were on Team USA. Yeah. So who's to say that he Popovich wouldn't have been able to extend all a branch to be like, yeah, no, we'll get Kuzma.